Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Homie Hector here. So today we got a 2007 Chevy Express with a 4.8 liter engine and it's here because the customer says that he can't pass smog. So he said he took it to the shop, the smog tech hooked up his little machine, which I'm assuming is a code reader, and right away he told him that he wasn't going to pass smog. He said there's no check engine light, but he said something about three codes and he let it run for a little bit and one of them was gone so i'm assuming he's talking about the monitors he said i'm not sure what's going on with it can you just check it out and help me pass smog so 2007 chevy express let's check this one out Hector! let's go ahead and start it and see if we got a check engine light that's on so we don't have a check engine light let's hook up the scanner and see what's going on with this we're gonna go ahead and do a quick code scan to see what's in the system. Okay, so we got a P0455 EVAP system, large leak. So I think that's what he was talking about, something with the gas cap, something with the EVAP system. The check engine light is not on, but we have a code in the powertrain. So let's see what else is in here. 455 again, body control module headlamps, body control module history codes. Device voltage fault. Got a bunch of codes in the body control module. Okay, so the one we're worried about is a P0455 in the powertrain. So let's go into the powertrain control module and let's take a look at this code. This one does not have a throttle cable. So we're going to go straight into engine, troubleshooter, code tips. And we're looking for 455 right there. So it says 455 sets when EVAP system is not able to achieve or maintain vacuum during the diagnostic test. Check for small leaks. Verify gas cap is secure and correct type. Tech note, text in the field report a faulty vent valve not sealing causing the DTC to set. So we have a large leak. Text say that it could be a vent valve, but I know that it could also be a purge valve. Gas cap will normally give you a small leak unless it's really bad. And we could also have a leak in one of the lines or we can even have a bad fuel tank pressure sensor that's sending wrong signals into the PCM. So we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna go look at some data. Actually, before we look at data, let's look at some monitors to see what's going on there. Monitors complete since the DTCs were cleared. Okay, so we got a catalyst that is not complete. The EVAP system is not complete. And we also have the O2 sensor not complete. So we have three monitors that are not complete. The EVAP system is usually the last one, but if we can make the catalyst and the O2 complete, this car will pass smog. But we do have a code in there, so let's take a look at that code and see what's causing that P0455. Functional test, EVAP service bay test. So it says, if the EVAP monitor is complete, clear the codes to reset the monitor, turn all accessories off and set the parking brake. Fuel level must be between 15 and 85. Turn ignition off, wait 10 seconds, and turn it back on. Let me do that real quick. Okay, the key off and on. Now we continue. EVAP service bay test denied because the coolant temp is too high. It should be below 158. And where are we at? So it has to be below 158 to run the EVAP test. We're going to wait for this to cool down. We're going to run an EVAP service bay test. And if we need to smoke it, we're going to smoke it. But we could have a potential purge valve vent valve gas cap or a leak anywhere in the lines or a bad fuel tank pressure sensor okay so really quick what i want to do is just go into the component test we'll go into evap system okay so this information right here tells you how this evap system works so basically there is a purge valve that is normally closed and it opens to purge the system there's a vent valve that is normally open and it closes to seal the system and there's a fuel tank pressure sensor that fuel tank pressure sensor sends a voltage reading to the PCM according to vacuum or pressure changes in the tank and this way the PCM determines if there is a leak in the EVAP system or if the system is normal. Alright so as you can see our coolant temperature went down to 150 so let's go ahead and do this EVAP service test and see what we got. So functional test, EVAP service bay test, continue, turn the key off, wait 10 seconds and then back on. Okay the key is back on. Continue, start engine and allow it to idle. Fuel level must be between 15 and 85. It is, transmission must be in park. It is, make sure the AC and all accessories are turned off. Continue, 
engine running, EVAP test active. So I'm gonna raise the RPM. moments later all right so you can see test is done evap test result failed large leak so let's exit out of here and let's go into output controls and what I want to do is purge the seal right here so let's hit continue fuel tank pressure we'll look at this and we'll look at this and we should be venting when I start purging so here we go I'm gonna hit purge okay now it says not venting and let's increase this purge. So I'm going 20%, 30%. We're at 1.5, negative 15 here. Let's go up to 60. Still 1.5. The purge is increasing. The vent is not venting, it's closed. And there's very little changes in the fuel tank pressure. Let's go up to 90. We're still at 1.5 on the voltage. And let's just go 100 to see what happens. You can see the change on the purge. Vent is closed. We're purging and there's no change. Either the purge is stuck or the vent is stuck. Let me go tap on the purge and see if there's any change in pressure. Slight changes on the inches of water reading but nothing on the voltage. Okay, the purge is unplugged. There should be vacuum on the purge valve right now because it's being commanded on. It should be open and there is zero suction here. The purge valve is disconnected and there's no suction on that purge valve. The vent is closed, the purge valve is open. There's no changes in fuel tank pressure because this purge valve is stuck closed. Okay, one thing I want to do before I throw that purge cylinder on there is I want to test to see if the control is even getting down to the purge because if it's not, it's never going to open the purge. Even though we see the command on the scantle, we don't know if it's getting down to the actual purge solenoid. I got a test light connected to battery positive. I'm front probing the connector. Now I'm going to command the purge solenoid with my scantle and we should see that test light flicker. So there's 10%, 20 30, 40, 50, let me bring it back down to zero. The computer is sending the signal out, it's getting to the purge, but that purge, it's not opening up. Time to change out this purge solenoid and retest it. All right, so I went ahead and picked up a purge valve for this 07 Chevy Express. Here's the part number, CP470, and it is a standard motor product part. So what I'm gonna do right now is install it, and we're gonna verify the repair to make sure that this 07 Chevy Express can pass smog. A few moments later. All right, so I got the new purge solenoid installed. This one right here is the old one. Now, if you take a closer look right by where my thumb is, you can actually see the problem right there. And if you look at those five letters right underneath it, C-H-I-N-A, that stands for causing headaches in numerous automobiles. <laughs> Just kidding. But whatever you do, try to stay away from dormant parts. All right, now that we got the new purge solenoid installed, it's time to verify the repair. Okay, so I got the scanner hooked back up. And we're just going to do the evap service bay test. And if the test passes, then this is going to be a confirmed fix. And continue. Okay, that's right around 2000 RPM. The evap test is active. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and check the results. A few moments later. So as you can see, now the evap service bay test passed. Now what we have to do is go drive the vehicle and do the drive cycle so that all the monitors complete. And as you can see, we got the catalyst that is not complete. We have the EVAP system that is not complete and we have the O2 sensor that is not complete. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take this van on a test drive. I'm gonna do the drive cycle so that I can get the monitors to complete. Okay, so I just got back from the test drive. It was about five to 10 minutes and as you can see, the catalyst monitor is now complete. The O2 sensor is now complete. The only one that is not complete is the EVAP system monitor. Now we can go take this vehicle and have it smogged 
and he should pass smog without any problem even if the evap system monitor is not complete so that's going to be it for this one 2007 chevy express 4.8 liter engine was not passing smog because the monitors were not complete and we also had a p0455 large lead detected due to a stuck closed purge solenoid so i'm gonna end it right here don't forget to like the video drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and i'll see you guys on the next one but wait there's more okay so i decided to do a smoke test just to verify that i wasn't going to have this car coming back for a small leak detected after replacing the canister purge solenoid so i'm using this auto smoke leak detector this is the sdt 206 and it's pretty cool because it has an air mode and a smoke mode also it doesn't need an air supply for it to work so all you got to do is hook it up to battery positive and negative and you got yourself a smoke detector i'm hooked up on the hose that's connected to the purge valve and i also got my scanner right here i have the fuel tank pressure pulled up so you can look at it and i got the vent valve venting right now i'm going to close it so that it's not venting then what i'm going to do is use air mode and what that's going to do is pump air into the system what we're going to see is changes in the fuel tank pressure we're going to see the fuel tank pressure rise and we're going to see the fuel tank pressure voltage drop that's if everything is working as it should so let me go ahead and close the vent valve i just heard it right there so now it's not venting now it's pumping air into the evap system and if we look here you can see the fuel tank pressure increasing and you can see the voltage dropping so that's pretty cool right there that's one way to use this machine what I'm gonna do now is use the smoke mode so that's gonna introduce smoke into the system I'm gonna go to the gas cap and check for leaks and I'm also gonna go down to the vent valve and make sure that it's properly sealed and as soon as I start seeing smoke coming out of here we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna go check for smoke at the back there it is right there we're hooked up at the purge valve I'm gonna close the vent valve I'm gonna open this up just to make sure that the smoke is getting back here so now I'm gonna close it and I see no signs of smoke now I'm gonna go down to the vent valve and make sure that it's properly sealing. All right, down here at the vent valve, this vent valve is not venting right now. It's closed and there's no signs of leaks. Okay, my son's gonna hit the off button now. And when he hits off, I just heard the vent valve. We should see signs of smoke because now the vent valve is gonna be venting. And as you can see, there it is. Can you hit on? I just heard a click. Let me blow the smoke away. As you can see, no more smoke. This vent valve is properly sealing the EVAP system. This car's fixed. All it needed was a purge valve.